We love smart home automations here on this channel and today I'm super excited because we have a bunch of creative, fun and useful automations submitted by you. That's right, you guys, the viewers of this channel have submitted automations from around the world and we're gonna showcase them today. Hopefully this video will give you some good ideas and inspire some new useful automations in your smart home. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane and this channel is all about helping you build an easy Apple home smart home with new videos and live streams published every week. All right, let's jump right in. It seems like you guys really like to use automations in the morning to help you start your day. So let's check out some of these. Juan starts his day at 4 a.m. to head to the gym before work. Now, first off, I gotta say kudos to you, Juan, for hitting the gym at 4 a.m. because that takes some serious dedication. I applaud you. Juan's automation is a simple one, but I really like this. Now, the problem he is solving with his automation is getting up early and not waking the rest of the house. He's using a shortcut so that when he turns off the alarm on his phone, his car will automatically turn on, helping it to warm up, especially in the winter. I'm sure that's great. It also turns on the living room light so he can see when he goes downstairs. He then has another automation set that turns off the living room light and any other motion sensor activated lights immediately when the front door is closed. So it turns off everything on his way out. Simple solution, but what a quality of life improvement there. Having the lights turn on so you can see and automatically have them turn off when you leave. So you're not waking anyone up, you know, fumbling around in the dark. And then having that car warm up so it's ready to go when you are. I love it. Next, we have an automation submitted by channel member Terry, who is admittedly not quite the morning person that Juan is. In Terry's case, his wife is the morning person who usually gets up very early to let the dogs out and feed them. So he set up an automation that is triggered when she disarms his alarm security system between two and 8 a.m. This will then turn on various lights on her side of the bedroom to a low warm light it's enough for her to see to get dressed, but not bright enough to wake Terry up. It also adjusts the downstairs Ecobee premium thermostat to a warmer temperature that she likes. Once she opens the bedroom door to head downstairs with the dogs, a contact sensor on that bedroom door will turn off those same lights and turns on the lights in the hallway and downstairs. And as a bonus, he's using an Akara FP2 presence sensor with zones configured for each side of the bed. He added a condition to that first automation that says if he's not in bed, in the rare case that he's already gotten up or maybe is out of town on business, the automation will then make those lights in the bedroom brighter for his wife, you know, brighter than usual. Um, you know, since he's not there trying to sleep. I really love these morning automations, very specific to the individual's routines and really help them start off their day on the right foot. Now, before we get to the next automation, I wanna talk about something that drives me crazy and that is charging cables all over the house. Not pointing any fingers here, but these cords from MacBooks, iPhones, and other devices are always laying around, especially on the kitchen counter, which I don't know, I can't stand it, pet peeve I guess. That's why I'm excited to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Anchor, and their new charging solutions that have really helped me solve this issue. First up is this awesome Anchor power bank with built-in USB cables. No more cords laying around. There's a fixed USB-C cable that doubles as a carrying strap, brilliant. And there's also a retractable cable. Both are incredibly durable. The strap is tested to withstand over 20,000 bins and supports up to 44 pounds, while the retractable cable has been tested for 20,000 retractions. It can also charge four devices at once with up to 100 watts fast charging through each USB-C port. The smart display shows power input, temperature and battery health with the 25,000 milliamp capacity it's surprisingly portable and TSA approved anchors laptop charger completes the setup with vertical ports for clean cable management dual 140 watt USB-C ports GAN technology for complete charging protection 
and the ability to charge up to four devices at once. If you wanna grab either of these charging solutions from Anchor, everything is linked in the description below. Now in the last automation, I mentioned how Terry is using a present sensor with zones configured to enhance his morning automations. But we have another example of someone using an Ankara FP2 present sensor. And I think this is a great demonstration of the power you get with a present sensor like this when you have zones configured. Dave, being the great husband that he is, set up automations for his wife in her office using the FP2. Depending on where she is in the room, will trigger different smart plugs and even a fan to turn off. Bonus points here for a well-executed, wife-approved automation. I am taking notes on this, but great example of using zones for your automations here. Channel member Edgar from the YouTube channel Edgar's Home Tech has another good morning automation to share utilizing shortcuts. He says he cannot live without this morning routine automation, so Edgar, take it away. Hi Shane, and thank you again for having me on the channel. One of my favorite daily shortcuts that I just cannot live without is my morning routine automation. This automation starts as soon as my alarm goes off. First, I have several hue light bulbs set up to simulate the sunrise. I love waking up to the gradual increasing light, which helps me get ready for the day without those super bright mornings where the lights is like 100% the moment you wake up. And for this to work, I'm using the iConnect Hue app. I set this up and I picked the 30 minute sunrise option and I added it as a serious shortcut. For this to work best, you need the Philip Hue color bulbs. And even though the majority of my light bulbs are color bulbs, you could still use those white light, uh, light bulbs as well. Something else that happened while the lights are still coming up is that my phone brightness dimmed to 1% um, in case I need to check any notification while I'm still waking up. At the same time, my air purifier fan turns off. These smart devices are essential to my morning routine because they create a comfortable environment for me to wake up to. And finally, at the end of this shortcut, I have a day summary shortcut uh, that provide all the information that I need to start my day, including weather condition, task, and calendar events. Now, here's how everything works. I have the main shortcut running multiple action like the sunrise shortcut, the fan turn off action, and my morning summary shortcut. They all get triggered the moment my alarm goes off. I'll provide Shane with some of the shortcuts that are shareable and I hope you enjoy my morning routine and that it inspire you to create your own. Thanks again, Shane, for having me on the channel. That's awesome. Thank you, Edgar. I really like that day summary shortcut there added at the end. Raul, who also had some great automations shared in our last viewer automation uh, video a while back, has another clever automation to share. I'll put a link to that last viewer automation down uh, in the description below, by the way, in case you like this type of video and wanna see more. But here, Raul is using the back tap accessibility feature on his iPhone to trigger a shortcut that will essentially check the weather and then change the color of a smart light to a certain color depending on the temperature outside. So when he double taps the back of his iPhone, the Eve flare will display a color based on the temperature outside and then turn off after five seconds. So he can use this throughout the day as just a quick way to check the temperature outside. Really cool. This is just a simple shortcut that he set up using multiple if statements to check that weather and then set the corresponding color of the Eve flare. Very creative. Next, we have a few creative ways that people are using simple contact sensors. These are typically pretty inexpensive and can be used in so many ways to automate your smart home, especially if you get a little creative and think outside the box. Alexis is using a contact sensor that triggers the living room TV to flash anytime the main door is open. The contact sensor triggers the Signals app to run a shortcut on the Mac and then flashes the TV screen. Great way to know when someone opens up the door if maybe you're in another room. Alex is using a contact sensor on his piano. When opened, it triggers a lamp sitting on the piano. When closed, it turns the light off. Such a simple automation, but it just shows you that using contact sensors in ways you may not initially think can be extremely useful. Timothy is using a contact sensor on his mailbox to send him notifications when the mailbox is opened. He's using the Push Cut app to get this custom notification. Then if it's not shut in 10 seconds, he'll get another notification telling him that the mailbox has been left open. 
This way, he not only gets a notification when the mailman leaves mail, but also if the mailman accidentally left the mailbox open. Some cool things you can do with the Pushcut app like this. Now, I haven't really covered the Pushcut app on the channel in quite a while. Y'all let me know down in the comments if that's something you'd like me to cover again in a future video. Now, some folks are sort of hacking their contact sensors, if you will, uh, to use them in even more creative ways. Gabby from Australia set up an infrared sensor on her driveway utilizing an Acara contact sensor. This is really cool, let me explain this. So uh, they don't have a gate, nor do they have direct line of sight um, to their driveway from the house. So this was set up so that they would know anytime someone enters their property, be it you know a guest delivery driver and maybe even bad actors, which you know we hope never happens. So she's using an inexpensive IR photo cell beam sensor purchased on Amazon and connected it to both a battery and the modified contact sensor. Now, when the infrared beam is broken by either a car or a person passing through, the Acara door sensor changes from closed to open. When this happens, an automation is triggered that flashes an Acara light strip under the TV for a few seconds and also sends a push cut notification to access the Acara doorbell camera's live stream to her phone. Additionally, will announce motion detected in the driveway to certain rooms in the house. Really cool solution, I love this. One more thing she added was a dummy switch through Homebridge that turns the automation off until midnight in case you know, they're expecting visitors and stuff like that. That way she's not being just blown up with notifications. Looks like Gabby really has thought of everything here. Well done. We also get another case of an Acara contact sensor being modified for a unique scenario submitted by Mike. He gave his girlfriend a record player for Christmas, which is awesome, but what's not awesome is that starting it requires one, turning on the record player, two, turning off the outdoor speakers for at least two minutes because the record player will try to connect to their outdoor speakers via Bluetooth. Um, and, you know, every time it's powered on, it goes through like a Bluetooth pairing process. Then three, they have to turn on the stereo if it's not already on. And four, switch the input on the stereo to the record player. Quite a process just to enjoy that new record player. So how did Mike solve this? I decided to ride an automation first considering a button near the record player that you would press when you wanted to start everything up. My first thought was to use an Acara button so I could use my Acara hub and utilize its IR blaster functionality to turn on the stereo and switch the input. But another issue arose. The stereo only gets a power cycle signal from the remote. It doesn't get an on or an off signal. So my automation would have to be different depending upon whether or not the stereo was already on or if it was off. I took this as a personal challenge to further simplify the process. Long story short, I installed and wired in a relay in the stereo that gets power when the stereo power is on. I then used that relay to close the wires on an altered Acara door window sensor as I've seen you do in a previous video, Shane. Now my smart home knows if the stereo is powered on or not. So I abandoned the button and I installed another door window sensor on the lid of the record player. Now when you open the record player, it turns on the record player smart plug. It turns off the outdoor speakers for three minutes so the record player doesn't pair to them. It turns on the stereo, but only if it needs to be powered on, then changes the input on the stereo. Just for fun, I had it also turn on the record shelf backlighting on sound active mode as well. Closing the lid switches the input back powers down the stereo and powers down the record player and it turns the back lights off. In the end, I had a ton of fun figuring out this particular challenge and needless to say, I made a ton of points with the girlfriend. This project was well worth the spouse approval points if nothing else. So Mike is a mad genius. He also showed me a project that he's working on that I wasn't gonna share at first because it's just so custom and totally next level. But I gotta show you this. Mike is building an automatic bourbon dispensing table that can be triggered by a man after my heart here. This is pretty awesome. Check this out. Make me a drink. What would you like? Straight bourbon or old fashioned? Straight bourbon. One bourbon coming right up.
Enjoy. There you go. Cheers. This might be the best thing I've ever seen. And while we're sort of in the man cave, I thought I'd share this one. Tony, who's a big Toronto Maple Leafs fan, created an automation that will flash various lights and light strips to play Tom Connors' The Hockey Song on his HomePod Mini every time the Maple Leafs start a new game. It also sets the face of his Apple Watch to a custom Maple Leafs watch face. This is done with a simple shortcut automation that triggers at 7 p.m. each day. The shortcut searches for calendar events for that day, and if there is a Leafs game on the calendar, it will run the automation. He's also set this up for Toronto FC games, triggering a different song in different colors. Really fun automation for the big sports fan out there. Longtime channel member Don submitted one that I'm a little jealous of, so Don connected his gas fireplace to HomeKit using a small, inexpensive uh, relay installed in line with the wiring from the dumb switch to his fireplace. The relay is then plugged into a smart plug under the fireplace. Automations can be controlled by turning the smart plug on or off, which turns the fireplace on or off. Fireplace on. This is something that I've really wanted to do for a long time, which is why I'm jealous of this one. Unfortunately, the wife has a strict rule in our house. I am not allowed to mess with the fireplace at all. So little side note, she works in claims for a power company and sees all kinds of gas related tragedies, unfortunately, uh, and therefore I am not allowed to mess with our gas fireplace. You win some, you lose some, gotta pick your battles. But this is awesome and fairly simple to set up. Just do be sure that you know what you're doing anytime you're messing around with a gas fireplace or um, anything else gas related for that matter. That brings us to Marshall. Now Marshall is 15 years old and submitted a truly impressive automation. He created an alarm system for his smart bedroom with facial recognition. So he's using a ring alarm system connected directly to Home Assistant. Once the pin is entered, Home Assistant starts arming the system. As the system is arming, an audio file begins playing, counting down from 60 seconds, preparing for the system to arm. After 30 seconds, the phrase 30 seconds remaining is played on the speakers and lights start flashing red. 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds remaining. The cycle repeats after 15 more seconds. Once the system is armed, it plays an armed audio file. A similar process takes place when disarming the system. System armed. System disarmed. And what's really awesome and unique is that he's currently setting up a video doorbell on the side so that when pressed, it scans his face and using an integration in Home Assistant will verify his identity. If successful, the system oh, is dark. disarmed. Your identity has been verified. Hello, Marshall. If the face scan has not been completed or fails within 30 seconds, the system will arm itself once more. I mean, wow, and did I mention <laughs> Marshall is 15 years old? That's incredible. We saw many automations here today from all over the world. Some are very simple, some are quite complex, but the underlying concept remains the same. Solve a problem that is specific to how you live your life and your daily habits. What works for me might not work for you, which might not work for Marshall or Don or Raul or Gabby or any of the other awesome smart home automators that we saw today. So I'd encourage you to do like they've done. Find those small pain points in your own life or maybe the daily routines that you uh, go through and find a clever way to address it through smart home automation. And I hope today's video helps spark some ideas or inspiration for how you can do that. Huge thanks to everyone that submitted an automation for today's video. You guys and girls are freaking awesome and never cease to amaze me. Thanks again to the sponsor of today's video, Anchor. Again, check out those links below in the video description to help support this channel and solve your charging needs. I'll put a link to a playlist containing past viewer automation videos right here. Check out that if you wanna see more cool viewer automation videos. Subscribe for more smart home content just like this and live streams every week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.